Hello YouTubers, I've got a treat for you. This mouse I consider to be the number one budget RGB mouse on the market at the moment. Um, it's, it's just awesome, even though it's from China, it's a really good quality um, and not a, a non-expensive mouse that does absolutely everything. It even has customizable software which I'll get onto in a minute, but uh, yeah, this was only 13 quid from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description and out of the box it does not come with any software um, I've got on to the manufacturers of it and got hold of the software myself in Hong Kong um, no not Hong Kong, it was in Taiwan actually but I've got on to the people themselves and got hold of the software for you to download and it unlocks everything that this mouse does first of all I'll get on to the software and I'll show you on my Bravia screen here what's going on and what this is all about Let's click on the main screen, right, so on the main screen, let's zoom in a little bit so you can see a bit better. I've got to be careful with this camera that I don't block the microphone on it because it's in a daft place. But anyway, this is the software and I'm not going to go into too much detail about what all this does, you'll figure this out for yourself in a couple of minutes, but all these here, you can configure any button to do anything basically. On the right hand side, you've got your polling rates which go from 125 up to a thousand Hertz that's a precision mouse pre uh, pointer precision there uh, you've got your scrolling speed um, and you've got your double click speed there these override the Windows ones and they're a bit more advanced than the Windows ones anyway that's the first page oh no I'll go on to this as well at the bottom it's got five profiles you can set for different settings on the mouse and they all store inside the mouse as well which is awesome right let's go on to the advanced page this is the part that people are going to love about this mouse this is the full RGB setting. Now, you can set it to be just on, like that, and choose your brightness. You can set it to breathe for as many seconds as you want, up to eight seconds. Uh, blink and special effect combination, and a steady and special effect combination there. If you click on neon for two seconds, and click on that for one second, like that, and click apply, the mouse now goes through a full 16 million colour palette. Ain't that awesome for 13 quid? Right, now, as I say, you've got five profiles here, and even if you switch this software up, everything gets saved into the mouse, basically. But if you run the mouse on two different computers, it will override what's in the mouse and run the software defaults. Just thought I'd mention that. Um, it's got full macro support, I haven't set any up yet, but this is the page for that. Uh, it's just all the basic stuff that you can do with macros. It's pretty advanced actually for such a cheap mouse and um, I was well pleased with it. But this software, like I say, does not come in the box. Uh, oh there, I, just, I forgot to mention that, that's the white version as well. It comes in black, white and black and silver I think. But I got the black version. I'm going to be getting the white version here for my new Ryzen build that I posted a video on a few weeks ago that I'm building. Well, it's done now, apart from the memory. I've just got to wait for the memory from Amazon. But anyway, that's the white version. This mouse is absolutely awesome. And I'm not just saying that because I bought it. For 13 quid, I'd rather have this than the, the top end Corsair, not the Corsair, the um, Cooler Master. I had the one with the uh, screen built in before, the Cooler Master. After a few weeks, the screen faded and it just crapped out, the mouse did. So, anyway, it's an optical mouse with 4000 dpi, as you can see at the bottom there. It feels strong, it's not a cheap mouse, it doesn't feel like a 13 quid mouse, and also the cable's braided as well. It's got a braid to it, and it's got a uh, built in zip tie for when you're taking it around different places. Okay. Um, what else can I say about it? It's very, very precise. And um, I've been noticing, I've played a couple of games on this, and it's, it's better than the mouse I paid 30 odd quid for, I'm not lying. It really is a good mouse. It's solidly built, it's got full RGB with 16 million colour support, and it can do white properly which very few RGB things can. I'll just demonstrate that now if I can. Try to do that the best I can on camera. But if I go to steady, 
100% brightness there and click that red box onto white and apply that there you go that is a proper white colour it ain't got no tint to it or nothing I'm very pleased about that because like I say hard, with RGB LEDs white is a very hard colour to get but it seems for some reason with this mouse it's just it's just perfect the scroll wheel lights up as well as that um, this mouse does come in another variant which has like cracked effect to it as well as this logo you can get that one as well but I've just got this one it's a more understated look in my opinion this is what the mouse now I'm going to be using for Synth FM because I used a wireless one before which is over there a Technet a cheap one from Amazon and it just keeps interfering with my wireless router for some reason so I'll be using this for Synth FM now yeah it's very very good I highly recommend you go out and buy this it'll take about seven days to get to you from Taiwan on Amazon but I shall put a link in the description box below to the software and to the, the mouse itself let's put this back on neon and apply that as you can see now it's scrolling through all the different colors the camera doesn't really do it justice how you know how vibrant this is but I'll try switch the lights off so you can get a better image there you go it really is a nice mouse I, I was so shocked and when I found out I could get hold of the software um, I was well pleased about that because this software is fully customizable if you go into the installation folder where you've installed it there's a skins folder there if you open the skins folder up you can change all this and make your own skin basically you could brand it to your motherboard at ASRock which is mine or Asus or whatever or Gigabyte if you wanted to you could even put your own name in there um, so customizable so brilliant this mouse I, I know I keep getting on about it but uh, it, it really is my in my opinion the best budget mouse of 2018 that's got RGB capability I've already said this beats 60 quid mouse, mice that I've got a 60 quid mouse and it's absolute garbage compared to this I don't know why but this just seems more fluid when I'm using it and the RGB is better on the um, I have got the Corsair one and it doesn't get white the white looks like pink but on this it's brilliant really good vibrant color so anyway I'll close this video now because I'm running out of things say he even knows a lot to talk about with this thing um, grab yourself one in fact grab yourself two you'll be amazed how good these are um, the software is just very very easy it's very well laid out and it's easy to to use it's not like Corsair bloody um, pages all over the place and icons everywhere what you see is what you get with this software and what it does it does very well so I recommend this 100% go and grab yourself one from eBay or Amazon I think eBay sell them as well but you will be talking 14 day delivery on eBay grab yourself one from Amazon you'll be amazed like I am with it anyway thanks very much for watching and I hope this has uh, been useful for you and if you're looking for a good cheap gaming mouse this is definitely the way to go okay thanks very much